Hello everyone, my name is Binks and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Dear Monster. Now right off the bat, I will tell you this is a Yaoi BL game. Boys love Yaoi. All the gay. Dating, romance, fantasy, all my favorite things wrapped in one. So if you ain't into that, get the heck out. <laughs> uh, I haven't done one of these games on my channel in a long, long time. It's, it's been a while. Uh, I think the, the last time I did a straight up just BL game was, what, Dream Daddy? Um, which was fun. I, I really enjoyed that game a lot. And uh, I play a lot of these in my free time, of course, which is very limited, <laughs> but I do. And I've actually played this game already, so I'm not blind to it, but due to uh, a lot of circumstances with my carpal tunnel, um, I don't know if you guys read my post on the community tab, but I had to stop playing the trauma center game because of my carpal tunnel on my both of my hands and wrists right now. Um, I can't play games that are going to require a lot of movement or extra clicking and stuff, so just simple point and click stuff is fine. <laughs> so I'm 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 limited right now. And I also uh, I'm still dealing with the computer issue still. God, it's been over a year. I'm I'm so frustrated on that you guys. Like I oh I, I can't even get into it. I'm Ooh, it's a new year and I, I just really, really, all I wanted for Christmas and my birthday, I, I said, okay, Christmas present, get me an electrician so I can finally use the new computer. Did it happen? Nope. Okay, birthday present, get me an electrician so I can use my computer. Did it happen? Nope. So, okay, Binks is, is in her little corner wanting to just break down and uh okay anyway let's focus on the good things right so this game i love this game it's uh it's a good one it's very hot <laughs> it's very hot i like it a lot it has fantasy it has bl has some good characters um i will tell you that it does have some very risque images which i will unfortunately have to censor so we will not be seeing it. I will be blocking like I did with my Honey Pop LP. So unfortunately you will not be seeing it because of YouTube. <laughs> uh, sorry. You will have to play the game on your own if you like to see that. So I highly encourage you if you are of age, please, please. I hope that you are 18 and over if you are playing and watching. <laughs> um, if you're an adult and if you are into this stuff go for it <laughs> you know um support the devs it's a really great game the art style is beautiful the music is beautiful i like the writing so yeah for me to even play this and show this to you guys means that it's good quality because unfortunately it's hard to find good quality be all stuff it really is um the only other high quality uh bl project i would love to show you guys is uh, a gacha game that i've recently been obsessed with called new carnival but that one is like ooh, that one is really rated R. <laughs> that one is ooh, that one's spicy um but that one's on mobile and i was looking into it and trying to figure out how to lp it and that one's hard um even if i could record it which I know you can, you know, record mobile games and stuff. Um, the commitment I would have to do to LP it would be, it would be difficult. I think gotcha ones are kind of hard to, to do as an LP per se, just because of the style. I mean, I could record like the story mode for you guys, but gameplay is kind of awkward, right? It, I, I would have to figure it out. I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but it's tough with my work schedule and all that. So I've been, it's in, it's in the back of my mind at all times. Trust me. Um, I love New Carnival so much to the point like if I had it my way, I would move to Taiwan and beg the devs to let me work for them. I would love to be on their staff write and write for them. 
I write fanfic for them uh, as it is now. I've actually been writing because I love it so much. But anyway, enough. Let me get into this game. So there are uh, four characters on screen that you see that they are the routes, but there is a bonus fifth one that they did add later on, which was great. Um, and unfortunately, I think they were, they had like, not Patreon, but like, you know, they, they had a Kickstarter or whatever. So they were able to kickstart it to the point that they got, they added the fifth route, but they, I don't think they were able to reach their top goal, which would have allowed them to have, um, an OT5, OT6 or whatever. Like it would have been a poly route, which would have made me super happy if he could have had all of them at the end because that would have been really interesting. So I'm kind of sad that they didn't reach that goal, but it's fine. At least we got what we got. I've, I've, I've hundred percented all the achievements. I already know what happens. So I want to show you at least one, uh, one ending for each character. It's a pretty quick game, so um, I don't remember exactly what I have to do for each route. So I don't know. I might get, I might get a bad ending for a couple of them. I'll try my best to get a good for each of them. I remember um, one of the bad endings in particular was really creepy, but I actually liked it. <laughs> and uh, there was one bad ending that I hated, so I want to try to avoid it. So let's see. Let's do a new game. <clears throat> We're gonna do animation off because my computer cannot handle it. I'm also been dealing with something with my throat lately. I did mention it in my other LP. <clears throat> I have to see a doctor because something's going on. So I'm sorry about that. No, I might be coughing. <coughs> Default name is Alan. Normally I would change the name if it was a female character, but uh, I I kind of. Especially for BL games, I, I just prefer to stick with the actual character. His name's Alan. Especially because he has his own personality. Today's the day. Can't believe I'm finally moving out. All those nights I spent sleeping on a pile of books. Their titles and printing on my face. And all paid off. I'm going to med school. I will never forget my aunt's face when I told her. For the first time, she looked at me with something resembling love. Also, I have to say, Alan is not my favorite protag compared to some others, but he's pretty high up there for me. Um, the fact that he's interested in medical stuff is high, um, re highly resonates with me. And some other stuff that happens later. So I'm like, okay, he's cool. We have some stuff in common. <clears throat> Sorry. So I'm not going to mess this up. And if I don't want to miss the bus, I'd better start packing now. I dig through a pile of clothes, separating the ones I'm taking from those I wouldn't dare to wear in public. Do I want, to, do I want my new classmates to see me in a You Shall Not Pass t-shirt? I don't think so. I want that shirt! I don't really wear nerdy clothes, honestly. Just because I don't really go anywhere fun. Alright, sorry about that. Got interrupted. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, um, I would like that shirt. Because I love that, that you shall not pass moment. It's an epic moment in Lord of the Rings history. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really wear those kind of shirts often. As much as I like that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I would ever actually wear it even if I did own it. Something catches my eye. The letter. <gasps> the letter! No! <laughs> it's still on my desk. Exactly where I left it yesterday. I trace my fingers against the signature. Theodore Thaddeus Porter. That's a name. <laughs> Why did he write to me? Why now? Yesterday, I didn't even know I had a living grandpa. Now he wants me to live with him? That's just insane. My future is set. My path is clear. 
I know what I'm supposed to do, so why? The letter starts glowing. Letters shouldn't glow. Come to think of it, why is everything gray? Why can't I remember the beginning of the day? Am I having one of those weird lucid dreams again? The light gets brighter. I have to squint my eyes, and even then, I still feel it under my eyelids. My skin tingles as strange, unsettling warmth builds inside my body, and fills me up so much that it becomes almost painful. Then the light fades away, and I'm not alone in my room anymore. There they are! They're silhouettes, at least. Who are these people? No, not people. They all emanate bizarre energy. And I just know they are something more than human. They seem to be waiting for something. Some kind of a gesture or signal from me. As I walk towards them, I realize I can't focus on their appearance. They are all blurry, like something you'd catch in the corner of your eye. Yep, this must be a dream. But why does it feel so real? I stand before them. Only now, I notice I'm naked. And it's not just my body. I feel like my very soul was laid bare. But I'm not afraid. All the pain, all the frustration, all the emptiness inside me washes away. For the first time in my life, I feel complete. I feel like I'm home. The warmth inside my body throbs with painful intensity. It settles in the pit of my stomach. My breathing quickens. Oh, here we go. Alright. This is what I was talking about. <laughs> I I misremembered. I thought it happened earlier, but looks like it's happening now. So this is where I'm going to have to start censoring. Uh, yep. Yeah. going to just blur that right there. I want to go to them, but I can't. There's an invisible wall between us. They have to come to me, so I lie on my bed and get ready for them. So, you guys will not be seeing what's going on at all. <laughs> at all. So I'll just read it, whatever I feel is safe, but you won't see that. You'll just see his face, his, his handsome face, <laughs> and know that he's enjoying himself. I feel my pulse in my throat, my heart beating with anticipation. And he's enjoying himself. Yep. Let's just say he's having a great old time. <laughs> he says please come to me and uh he's speaking to them I assume <laughs> yep he's he's still uh talking uh waiting for them he's waiting for them these imaginary versions of them I guess because they're not actually there, I guess? I don't know. And... I guess he's done. Okay, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Yay, it's over. <laughs> it was very brief. I open my eyes. I'm in my bed, alone. I lay there for a while as the dream fades away. Then I get up. Carefully. Okay. Great job, you stupid brain. Couldn't you wait for just a second longer? Jeez. Yeah, he's got blue balls. <laughs> he didn't get to um, he didn't get to finish apparently. Oh, okay. Yikes. I glance around the room. It's exactly like in my dream, but 
There are no horny guys just waiting to drill me. Oh my. I sigh. Sorry, bro. So, I, I thought his hair was brown, but I think it's actually purple. Based on the images that I see sometimes, I'm like, oh, I think it actually is meant to be purple. Which is cool, because I'm like, very rarely do you get to see purple-haired protagonist guy, you know? I like that. That's cool. They're always like, if they're not the typical black or brown hair, then they're redhead, right? Or blue. Red or blue. Very rarely do you see any color other than that. So I always get happy when I see a different color. Don't get me wrong, red and blue are awesome colors. I just get excited when I see, yay, green-haired pro tag. Yay, purple-haired. Yay, orange hair. You know, different color. <laughs> but yes, I do have a fondness for redheads too, so I can't blame them. The letter from Grandpa is real and still in the desk. I touch the curved signature. Yesterday, I was going to write back, explain that I can visit someday, but moving in. Come on, I just got accepted to one of the best universities in the country. I can't possibly miss my classes. Besides, he lives too far away. But that dream, what if it was real? I mean, of course it wasn't real. I'm not stupid. But what if there is something waiting for me at Grandpa's? Something other than my life, neatly arranged like porcelain dolls behind a glass. I stare at the letter. Then, I start packing. So it's, it's a little strange because it's like, you get distracted with all the sexy times, but basically, you know, you have this guy who he's getting ready to go to medical school and you know that he has his life all set and arranged for him like he's ready to start his life but then he gets this letter from this grandpa he didn't even know he had and now he's like questioning do i go along this set path or do i veer off course you know and what's up with these mysterious men that he's suddenly dreaming about Ooh la la <laughs> so here we go I love this music. It's so great. Now, I will tell you, when I first played the game, I, I, I know that, I, I remember I, I read later on that there's like a, a suggested um, pathway that, that you should follow. Like, like a suggested order of who you should pursue. Like a correct order of if you go with this guy first, and in order to get to the true ending, um, but I don't want to do that because I I don't want to show you guys the true ending, even though it's really good. It's a it's a great ending, but I don't want to spoil it because I want you guys to play the game for yourselves if you enjoy it, if you like it. You know, I feel kind of bad. Because it's really good and I, I, and I, I kind of want to show it to you guys. I don't know, I have mixed feelings. I feel like, as, an, as a Let's Player, I feel like it's partially my duty to, to show you guys the best of the best of the game. But at the same time, I just also want to promote the game and want to encourage you guys to get it for yourselves and, you know, explore it and play it yourselves. You know support the devs and all that so that's why I don't want a hundred percent it for you I already did it on my own free time before LPing it and I did that blind you know so when I played it blindly I didn't follow the any guides or anything so I I did it out of order um, so I, I did it the hard way <laughs> so that I think that's probably what I'll do I'll just um, play it play it the, the way I did the first time, you know, whoever I feel like it and get whatever ending I, I think is best and uh, the chips will fall where they may. It's kind of a shame because, I, I mean, the true ending is pretty good. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> but it, it's worth it. Like, if you guys, I hope you guys will enjoy it and um, if you do end up picking it up for yourselves, 
I, in, if you need help, a little guidance from me, a little nudge in the right direction, I don't mind helping you. Um, but yeah, they do apparently have like, they sell like a guide or something, like how to, a walkthrough or something of like how to get the true ending. Anyway, I just came to visit. It's not like I'm moving in. I don't think so. I'm at the university. She's never even mentioned Grandpa, so I had a feeling she'd have raised hell if I told her I was coming here instead. I have to call the admissions office and tell them I'll miss my first day. Oof. It's a big risk you're taking, bro. But man, what a house. Why didn't anyone tell me our family is loaded? Come to the front door and take a deep breath. What should I say? Will he be happy to see me, or will I be of disappointment? Here goes nothing. Mm -hmm. Great. He's not even home. Or he didn't hear. Why is there no doorbell? Or better yet, couldn't he just write his phone number in the letter? Who sends letters anyway? Starcross lovers? Old people? Well, he is your grandpa, so... Old people. Oh. My thoughts are interrupted by a loud bang coming from inside the mansion. I hear a deep, manly voice shouting something. What's going on? Is Grandpa being robbed? Is he okay? I open the door slowly. I want to know what's going on, but I'm not getting stabbed for that information. Oh my. Well, that looks interesting. Such cool art. I love it. My jaw drops at the luxury of the interior. Marble floors, intricately woven carpets, huge paintings on the walls. Not the typical 50 bucks stuff I'm used to. They look age old and museum worthy. That looks pretty cool. If, I don't- I can't even tell if that's a, like an aquarium or a painting. It's all glowy. And, like crystals right there. Like a jar. Oh, I didn't even know. Like a bookshelf? I don't know. Hard to tell. There are even a few suits of armor looking at me like I'm not supposed to be here. I see three people in the hall. Oh. There he is. <clears throat> okay. Confession time. Yes. I went for the sexy dragon man first. So sue me. He's redhead and he's hot. Can you blame me? Look at this man. This dragon man. I'm tempted to go after him first again. <laughs> okay. He's pretty great. In the middle of the stairs stands a red-haired, pissed-looking dude. I sure as hell wouldn't like to be on the receiving end of that glare. I... <sighs> He's he's a little difficult to deal with, though. As you can tell. <laughs> By the angry face, right? <laughs> I see a pair of horns on his forehead. Well, um, who am I to judge his style choices? Stares at the, the man boobies. Mm. Wow. Sexy. He must really like leather. Eyes focus on his tight pants. Particularly the butt clinging to his bulge. Wow, you're bold. Why he decided to wear armor is a mystery to me. If it's for protection, shouldn't there be more than an arm piece? Not that I'm complaining. I enjoy the view. I've seen fit guys before, but this one is on an entirely different level. Three seconds pass and I still can't look away from his abs. Then he speaks. Ah. Oh. So hot. I wish I could I wish I could voice all of these hot guys the way they deserve. 
<laughs> Makes me sad. Gone? You're right. But he's hiding somewhere, trembling before my wrath. Just talking with one of his minions is beneath me, let alone being turned away by it. Call your master, dog. The answer comes from one of the guys standing on the ground level. Oh. What does the fox say? A oh, horrible joke, Binks. Horrible. Ah, uh, the fox man. Eh, I have mixed feelings about him, I will say. I don't want to taint you guys uh, opinions too much but that's what I that's all I'll say for now I never I I don't know I actually had the hardest time getting the, the, the best ending for him that's probably why um, I got both of his bad endings first and I was like dang it <laughs> like, what do I have to do to get your good ending star <laughs> oh He's, he's interesting. Um, there's some lore. Not my favorite. That's all I'll say. Yeah. I already said a lot. <laughs> Big <Binks> to <the> stop. <laughs> I, I... Hmm. He's hot. I do like his tattoo a lot. <laughs> This one's face stretches into a relaxed, maybe even amused smile. He's also buff, but this time my eyes focus more on his fox tattoo than the muscles. It suits him. And the funny thing, the funny thing is, there's a character who reminds me of him in New Carnival, that game I mentioned earlier, who is also a fox, and a little similar personality and lore-wise, but... I prefer that character a billion times more. I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just execution. Maybe it's just the design. Because this one, he he's a very manly buff man. And he's hot in that aspect. While the other one, he is a very much more feminine, uh, stylish, elegant. He wears heels, which is rare for a man who's, like, he's masculine but feminine at the same time. But he's hot. <laughs> he's also very, very dominating and, and dangerous and, and scary. Um, oh, yeah. I shouldn't, st I shouldn't be talking about both games, but, yeah. Interesting. So, I can't help but to compare, because they're two, these are two of my, my favorite BL games, so I can't help but to compare them. He calmly puffs his pipe and combs his hair with one hand. No, he actually scratches one of his lynx-like ears. Of course, why not? One horny dude, another straight from a furry convention. <laughs> Alan calling them out. Funny. Grandpa must be an eccentric person, to say the least. Um... If I'm not mistaken, I believe he's supposed to have an accent. I think he's, I um, based on context clues, like a British accent or something? Just, just on the way he was speaking. Which is weird to me, but I think it made sense. Like British, maybe? Oh, I remember you now. You're Iris, right? Wait. You're Iris, right? Your duel with Theodore was quite entertaining. When was it? Like, a year ago? Unfortunately, my answer is still the same. He's not here, and we don't know when he'll be back. It's Imbris. The great red dragon, Imbris, for pitiful mongrels like you. Yes, endless. Sorry. Look, I don't know what else to tell you. I would have invited you to a tea party, but I have a feeling I'd need crayons to communicate with you. Oh, burn. Listen here, you little... You can call me Momo, Igris. Oh, and this is Hikmat. 
He points at the last person in the room. Yes! My favorite man! Come in! Come in! Yes! This is my favorite, y'all. Look at him. Egyptian sexy man. Oh, yes! This is my bae right here. This is the man that I was tempted to pick there first. I went with the sexy redhead because I was weak. But, of course, this was my second choice and I wish he was my first because I love him so much because he's hot and he's Egyptian. Look at that man. Mm. Mwah. <laughs> Binks was just, you're supposed to be not biased. You're not supposed to sway them. I'm sorry. This is not a blind LP, so it's going to be very tainted, okay? I'm going to force you guys to love him as much as I love him. <laughs> oh. He's amazing. I love him. He's great. And sad. Look at his sad face. Even here, Alan's like, yeah, he's sad. He needs love, okay? We're going to give him love because he deserves it. This one looks almost sad. He has a stoic face, and somehow it feels as if this whole situation is beneath him. That is sad. I think it's like the sad stoic ones like this that always deserve the most love. And it's always like you just want to cuddle them and give them your love and your healing. <laughs> Because they always have like some tragic backstory and they always need a little more tender loving care. Then he yawns and they understand his expression better. I often had that same look after pulling an all-nighter. He could use a nap. Bruh, I feel you. <laughs> oh, to voice you will be. Hmm. Mr. Empress, we are not trying to trick you. Theodore's location isn't known at this moment, but we will give him your message as soon as he comes back. His voice is deep but emotionless. His jewelry chimes, and his silk robe flutters with his every movement, exposing strong, thick thighs. His features are the definition of beautiful. It's like looking at a literal piece of art. Fuck your messages. I came here for revenge, and I will get what I want. Maybe killing one of you will convince the old fart to show himself. Oh, come on then. Let's see if you finally learned how to fight. They look at each other, unblinking. Imbris bears his fangs. His body tensing, as if ready to strike. Momo smiles with a mocking smirk, but his movements still, and his aura changes to something deadly. I shiver. It seems they're both hesitant to deal the first blow. Uh oh. Suddenly, Imbur snarls, his body lifting from the ground. His mouth opens and a stream of fire explodes from within. Nope. <laughs> so relatable, Alan. I love you. I close the door, turn away, and go back to the gate. I don't know who or what these people are, but frankly, I don't care anymore. That dude flew, breathed fire, and talked about killing. That's not possible. At least, it wasn't possible a minute ago. Now? No, not my problem. The one with the fox ears said that Grandpa isn't even here. I'm going outside, calling the police, and then going straight to campus. Once I calm down, I will write Grandpa a long letter explaining that I won't be able to visit him in the next few weeks or years. I open the gate, take a step, and get hit hard in the head with a blast of energy. I lose balance and end up with my ass on the ground. What was that? There's nothing in front of me. I reach out with my left hand, and the air illuminates for a second. My hand is knocked back with another loud noise, a hiss and pain. 
<clears throat> oh, dear. What voice do I do for you? Ah, uh, my dear friend. Truly, I understand your longing to flee. Yes, indeed I do. But I would advise you not to attempt that again. A man offers his hand to me. His whole body seems to shimmer with strange, unearthly glow. Uh, with a strange. I think that's what it's missing. And there's a horn on his head. Pretty boy, what's up, what's up? The barrier rejects anyone who approaches, and the more one tries, the stronger its power becomes, as well as the pain it inflicts. I would absolutely abhor seeing you in pain. So please, turn back and let me escort you to the mansion. He's like, um... <laughs> But actually, I think we're going to leave this episode right here, you guys, because it's been going on a while. Um, I just wanted to get to um, a, a good point where we've at least met everyone and, you know, uh, got a decent amount accomplished. Um, I don't think every episode will be this long, but we'll see. Sorry that I went on a lot of tangents and rambled a lot, but... Uh... I also got interrupted a lot. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And I hope you will like this LP. Um, it's going to be censored a lot. <laughs> but it should still be interesting. should still be good. So, until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye!